Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity and I'm here today to discuss hysteria and hysteria was common in the females in the population from about 1850 to the 1900s and what was going on around that time was the DC electrical system was in use and that switched out to the AC electrical system in about the 1920s, AC electricity was developed at the very end of the 1800s and was implemented at the early part of the next century. And hysteria died out during that period. But one of the things that the DC electricity system did was it put a lot of radio waves into the environment. And Nikola Tesla actually documents a lot of radio waves in that era. And he actually patented a device to try and extract those radio waves as free energy. So there's no doubt that there's a lot of radio waves around during the time that hysteria was reported in the population. And one of the things that the ladies were doing at the time is they were wearing these skirts. If you look, it's actually made up of these big hoops. And those hoops were made out of steel. And they were held together with fabric strips. So you can see there's a lot of hoops around the bottom half of the lady in this picture. So any electrical engineer will recognize hoops as induction loops. And what happens with loops is when you put them into electromagnetic fields, energy gets induced into them, and then that energy starts running around the hoop. And the hoop will start radiating electromagnetic waves in the local environment. And it appears to be possibly the cause of hysteria in these ladies during that period. So we're back in a period where there's a lot of electromagnetic radiation in the environment. We now live in a wireless society and the wireless radiation levels are very, very high in today's society. In fact, they've never existed in the history of humanity. So what we've done is we've purchased an ice maker kit, which comes with this copper tubing. And this copper tubing is hollow. And when you're doing radio frequency experiments, you want to use hollow conductors where possible because of the skin effect. Most electrical current at uh, high frequencies wants to travel around the edge of a conductor and not down the center. So that's why we're using hollow copper tubes in this experiment. And you can see that we've cut the copper tube up into rings and they increase as we get down towards the ground and that matches the design of the dresses of that era. So this ring at the top was actually a one foot length of copper bent into a circle and each ring increases by one foot to give us the increasing radius that we see as we go down. So we have a Diefenbachia plant, and this Diefenbachia plant is actually very sensitive to electromagnetic radiation exposures, and it will deform in electromagnetic radiation fields. So what we're going to do is we're going to grow this Diefenbachia plant inside our model of the hoop skirt, and we're going to see what happens to it. And this experiment's probably going to take close to six months to a year to complete. And once I have the results of this experiment, I will post another video of it. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.